Hi everyone, it's Susan with the Narcissistic Abuse Journey Alliance. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd be honored if you'd do that today. A big thanks to all my subscribers and to all of you who keep coming back to the channel to listen and comment. A heartfelt thank you. Please leave a comment below. I love your comments and please also tell me where you are tuning in from. What city, state, country? I'd love to know that too. Okay, I want to briefly discuss again this lying business with the narcissist and toxic person. We tell many lies on a daily and weekly basis, mostly white lies, benign lies. Perhaps we don't want to hurt someone's feelings so we stretch the truth, or sometimes if we're not good at saying no, and undecided about something, and being pressured for an answer, we might just say something in the moment that isn't exactly true, to get the heat off of us. But these kinds of lies are not vindictive and are not meant to hurt anyone. Lying is a way of life for narcissists. They lie so much they believe their own lies. When it comes to narcissists and many other individuals that would be deemed toxic, we have to remind ourselves that they are fork-tongued individuals, slithering through the grass, talking out of both sides of their mouths. They will say anything to maintain control. Their brains are wired differently than ours are. They have brain abnormalities. Science backs this up. I've talked about this in my other videos. They have difficulty making meaningful connections with others and can have cognitive deficits. I am absolutely not defending them. The pathological, compulsive lies that narcissists and toxic people tell can be very damaging. And the lies that these disordered individuals tell are aimed at control and stealth control to maintain their own perceived safety at your expense. Remember, when we are talking about a narcissist and toxic person, their main objective is to manipulate and control us and the situation. A narcissist's control needs are through the roof. They will stop at nothing in order to control and gaslight because lying and gaslighting go hand in hand. They will do a gymnastics routine in order to distort our reality and maintain control and will keep changing the recipe of the shit sauce to your liking so you won't get fed up and leave them. If you ask a narcissist a direct question about something they lied about, they won't answer you, or they will change the subject numerous times in hopes that you will forget or drop the issue. They also love lies of omission. Better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission or something like that. Of course, asking for forgiveness is not a narcissist's forte and is another big lie, since narcissists lack empathy, a conscience, and any kind of remorse. And any attempts at an apology is a joke and an insult to your intelligence, since narcissists are insincere and inauthentic. They rarely admit their wrongdoing and can't face the reality of who they really are, shallow, empty vessels. And they are not the nice guy or nice gal they profess to be. This is a mask they wear, of course, to hide the fact that they are angry, jealous, and vindictive individuals. Being the nice guy is another way of controlling you and manipulating a situation in their favor. When you realize that you are dealing with a narcissist or toxic person who is constantly lying, you should realize this is a major red flag. Your power lies in knowing that these individuals don't change, or some say seldom change, that you can walk away immediately, that it was nothing you did or said that prompted them to continually lie to you. It's their compulsion, their problem, not yours. They are doing it with everyone. 
Start backing up and moving away from such people. And put the focus back on yourself. Work on yourself and ask yourself, why did you give someone so many chances when you knew they were blatantly lying to you time and time again? Your power lies in knowing the truth and not second-guessing yourself, putting your foot down and saying, enough, no more, no more deceit, creating boundaries that protect you and your heart, taking back control and knowing your value, that you don't want to be treated with any more disrespect. These all add up to giving you closure. And if you can, finding a little humor in the narcissist's lame attempts at insulting your intelligence over and over again. How pathetic and disordered an individual to keep shooting themselves in the foot, covering up the truth with their forked tongue rationales when you know damn well they are lying right through their teeth. I hope my videos strike a chord with you. I want us together raising awareness about narcissism, narcissistic abuse, and toxic relationships because that is the way we will make the world a better place. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sending you all a big tight hug and lots of love, and I'll be in touch again soon.